We are in Durban. We're at Kingsmead in South Africa against Sri Lanka. Day number four of this first Castle Test match. Here's where the game stands at present. 235 plays 191. 259 plays 83 for three. Sri Lanka started well in the second innings, but that 221 runs looks like it's a long way away. Whether it is, whether it isn't, we find out today. Superbly timed. That will give him enormous confidence. It really will. Driving Rabada straight down the ground to bring up the 50 stand. And also under the 200 mark to get. 105 for three. Nice bright sunshine now in Durban. It's a nice crack of the bat, that one. And that has screamed away for a boundary. It's the gone. Here's the breakthrough they were searching for South Africa. They've been patient for a while. The length delivery that just nips away a touch. Comfortable catch from Duplessis. And eventually South Africa get the one they after. And that celebration tells you a lot about how important that wicket is for South Africa, for Dale Steyn. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Ball stops on the surface. Top back to him, Dale Steyn just shoves out a right hand. And it sticks. So that's two wickets in three deliveries. Dale Steyn on fire. South Africa on fire. Dick Willer without bothering the scores. 110 for five. That's nasty play. Just hammered in back of a length by Kukisa Rabada. And Dorero was onto it in a flash in front of square. There's the one he's looking for. That's short, that's wide, and it can go as hard as it likes. Timber Vroom is not the tallest at back <laughs> point. But even if there was someone tall, I don't think he would have got anywhere near it. Nice shot. Consistency for Kusal Pereira. Another 50. It's a fifth one in his career. He got 51 in the first innings. Yeah, beautiful shot. Nicely controlled. And got himself in a good position. De Silva picks up four. Beautiful. Prize of catch but that is. Uh... A sweep shot at its best. Well in front of square, and he's played it nicely. Oh, that's gone through. Was hugging the bat out to dry then. Big dive from the captain. Just a couple of slips. Went through for four. Rabada's down as well. Fuff's down as well. And the catch. Shut, shut, shut. Gee, that's superbly timed. That really is. He just leant into that and drove straight through the line of the ball for four. That's a nice little play. A little bit of width. He's got protection on the leg side. He's looking for anything he can hit through the offside. So strong in that area. It's just the width he was after. That's a seriously good shot. Oh, what a shot that is. That is a beauty. Back on a square on the offside. He's hammered that for four. A big over. Nine from it. 197 for five. Big shout, huge shout. Nothing doing from umpire da. And I tell you what, just because of the way things stand, I reckon that'll go upstairs. Big decision to be made here. Remember, it's been given not out. So we moved on, so there's no edge. No that's edge. That's what uh... Ooh, that's gonna be close. So oh, it's out. Oh, big moment, huge moment. Given not out. And it then had to be the three reds in order for the decision to be overturned. It is overturned, and South Africa get their breakthrough. Kasha! Gone, there's two and two. Keshav Maharaj. It was so important that he came into the game. Keshav Maharaj had a massive part to play, especially with Vernon Philander not on the park. Surangalakmal has gone for naught, a first ball duck. Sri Lanka 206 for seven. Up in the air and gone. South Africa edge closer as Sri Lanka 
Lewis Hamble then here for four, 215 for eight. There's no run there. He'll have to be very lucky to get in, and he is. I'm sure he'd have been gone for money. Gone. Good night. Good shot. And that's up. That's pretty adjacent. If this is umpire's call, well, just one of those things that the umpire again gets the benefit of the doubt. Ball tracking. Lands in line. Hitting leg stump. So once again, Keshav Maharaj does the business for South Africa. Picking up his third wicket. It's pretty thankful, Keshav Maharaj. Rajita for one. 226 for nine. He's only 13 short. All he's thinking is I'm two blows and one run away. What a stroke. Not an easy shot. There's a bit of a rough, bit of assistance. That's a great shot. And that's just short of the boundary. And that takes Crystal Pereira to 99. And there's the hundred. Three figures for Kushal Pereira. Very good knock. Excellent knock. His second test century for Kushal Pereira. And I'm sure this one will rank up right up there to go with his 50 in the first innings. He's been exceptional. And that's up and away. That's onto the bank. That's a great shot by Pereira. That does indeed take him to his highest test score. Takes it down to 52 required for Sri Lanka. But what a hit. With the fear, very good with that short ball. He's quick, he gets it into uncomfortable areas. But with 100 behind you, yeah, you take it on and back yourself to put it into the stands. It's whipped away and whipped away convincingly. Two men back. Those are the only two on the boundary. Lasects them perfectly. Oh, Kusal Pereira. He's playing a gem of an innings here. Oh, he gets the edge. Oh, they're going to go. They're going to run for it. And he misses. They're going to get five as well. 29 required now. Oh, that's a massive bonus. Brilliant. Was it Babuma who threw it? He did have to throw, didn't he? It was rough to see who threw it. It's great cricket awareness, though, you've got to say, from Pereira. He needed to get on strike, and he saw the island of opportunity. A great delivery from Stain. Oh, he's middled it. Absolutely middled it. It's off over the bank. It's into the chairs. 23 required. Oh, boy, oh, boy. The Sri Lankans haven't given up. 55 runs for this last wicket. Yeah, that's a great shot. At this time, he has to work out which balls he can afford to tack, which ones he can hit boundaries off, and he's absolutely picked the right one and smashed it. Chop catch. Oh, just misses the edge, just misses the stumps, and they breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> swing, the king of swing. That's what let him down there. Oh, my goodness. We have to ask Hawkeye to come up with how much that missed by. It's got to be centimeters or millimeters. Top edge, it's going to go the whole way, is it? Yes, it is. Six more runs for Sri Lanka. 14 required. 290. Kusal Pereira into the 140s. Pereira, can he find 13 more runs for Sri Lanka? He middles it again. It's on to the bank. That's six of them. Just seven required. How about that? He's off to 148, Kusal Pereira. That's his fifth six. Oh my, oh my, Sri Lanka needs seven. One hit away from evening things up it means it will be a tied test match, even if they don't get the other. The South African fans cannot believe it. That one's worked away fine. This could be four. He you know, gives chase. Uh, but they're going to get back for two. That's the important factor. Pereira is going to keep the strike at his leg bars. He doesn't get 150, but Sri Lanka get over 300. He almost blew it because he thought that was going away for four and didn't run. 
four more runs required. He does it! He absolutely does it! One of the greatest innings you'll ever see from a Sri Lankan outside Sri Lanka. He's got his team to victory. He's got 150. What a historical day here at Durban. February 16th. It's a special, special day. Lot to remember. Kingsmead, Sri Lanka run away with a one wicket win. Just what they needed. Hopefully, it'll turn the spirits, the confidence levels in that team. And the rest of the players will start believing in their skills as well. Bowling wise, Stain was really good. Picked up two wickets in, two, in three deliveries to hit Sri Lanka five down. Finland went uh, missing in 14 with a hamstring injury. Maharaj made his contribution. Three for 71, Rivada one for 97. Donald for two for 35 again and just one over from Markham. And 14 for South Africa, not able to get that 10th wicket. There's also a few run out opportunities which they couldn't take. The moral of the story at 226 for nine, they would have thought they were going to win the game. It wasn't to be 304 for nine. Sri Lanka come out on top. First castle of the test. Sri Lanka won the toss, put South Africa into bat. He did well to bowl them out for 235. Ishwar Fernando four for 62. Quinton de Cox 80. What gave that score some respectability? Sri Lanka 191 for thought they had blown it. They could have done a lot better. Staying four for 48. Kusal Pereira 51. 259 gave Sri Lanka a score of 304 to chase and on the back of 153 not out.